Hello folks, let's do some apple motion. I'm going to use the uh, emitter to make some smoke coming out of an airplane and let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, let's put the background in. Just drop that into there and I'm just going to scale this up. There we go, I know slightly, there we are, make that a little bigger. Okay, that's fine and I'm just going to rename this group. You guessed it, background. Okay, there we go. I'm going to lock that so I can't interfere with the background. Then I'm going to take the, this plane, okay, drop that into here. So now I've got a new layer, this plane. So I'll rename this one. Good to do it as I go along. Plane. There we are. And this plane I'm going to take and I'm going to scale that down like so. There we are. And I'm also going to take the anchor point so I can go to this menu here. Anchor point. I'm going to move that anchor point just to under the wing because that's later where I want the smoke to come from. So I'll just do that now. Okay. And let's just lock that off also for now. So I'm going to draw a path. So I'm going to do a new group so I can got something to draw into. And I'll call this path. There we go. So select that. And I'm going to use my Bezier tool here to draw a path. So what I want to make the plane do is a nice little loop the loop. So here we go. And I'll just uh, tinker with these slightly to try and make it a little rounder. That'll do. Not perfect, but good enough for the tutorial. Okay, so we've got a path there. All good. And when I click out, it fills it in. So I'm just going to go to my inspector here and turn off the fill. There we go. I just see the outline. I'll turn that off later. Um, but just so now, I'll leave the outline on just so you can see what's happening. Okay, so I'm now just going to unlock my plane layer, open this up, and what I want to do, I want to make the plane follow this path. So to do that, I'll go to my library, and I'm going to use motion path. I'm going to drop that onto this plane layer inside the group. Okay, and if I go to my inspector, okay, I don't want an open spline like that. I don't want it to just follow a straight path. I want to use geometry. There we go. And now I've got that, I've got a little drop box here. So I can take my Bezier path there, just go back to that, and drop that into here. And lo and behold, there's my plane. And if I want it to go a bit faster, I just drag this in. There we go. So we've now got the plane on the path. And I'm just going to turn that off now. And boom. There's our plane. Now, of course, it's oriented the wrong way. So, normally, when I first tried to do this, I went to uh, simulations and I put on align to motion, thinking this would align it here. And it doesn't actually make any difference. But if I go to here and type in snap, there we go, snap alignment to motion, this one works, except it's upside down. No problem, go to the inspector and click invert. And now we've got ourselves a plane flying along a nice smooth path. All good so far. So let's just take these and let's just lock all of these for now. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my library and I'm going to go to my content and turn off the snap. There we go. And go to my particle images. And the one I'm going to use is just this blur. So I'm going to drop that into a new group and I'll call this group emitter. So you guessed it. Let's move that to the start. I'm going to put on this 
an emitter just by clicking here, create particle emitter. And oh, again, I need to move back to the start of the timeline. That's okay. So now we've got these, these particles ooh, coming out. Oh, all well and good, but I don't want this going on. I want to make some smoke. So let's go into the settings, inspector. And first of all, I'm going to go to the properties. And for the position, I'm going to click here and choose add parameter to behavior on this little drop down menu. I'm going to link. All right. So I've got a link there. And my source object is going to be my plane. Sorry, wrong one. Right. So I need to make sure I drag the layer in with the animation. There you go. Not the group. There we go. So we've got... Uh, well, we've got some big balls flying in the sky, which is what everyone wants. Big balls in the sky, but what we want is smoke. So now we just need to go into the emitter and change some of the settings. So first of all, I'm going to bring the scale right down. So we've got little particles and also change the scale randomness. I'm also going to change the speed. So they come out maybe just up to maybe three or four. There we go. So the five and increase the speed. We want plenty of randomness in this for all the settings. Okay, and I'm going to really ramp up that birth rate. So now we're getting lots of particles. Um, maybe increase that randomness a bit. I'm also going to put some spin on this and also increase the spin randomness. Because of course it's smoke, so we want plenty of randomness there. That's not looking bad. And I'm going to make sure that this layer is actually beneath. So I want to make sure my plane is on top. So we're getting, so we're getting smoke there. And just going back to my settings for the emitter. I'm going to also increase the birth rate randomness. And over opacity over life here, I'm going to click the end of that and change the opacity to zero. That way the smoke fades out. So I'll just click here to play that back. And I might just increase on this, maybe just increase the speed a little bit. That'll give us a bit more separation and increase just a few more particles. I'll play that. Okay. Not too shabby. So that is how to use the particles and attach it to the motion of another object. Have fun folks!